Hi and welcome back to On The Ball. So today I'm off to Butlin Park to go and watch Rugby Town versus Bromsgrove Sporting. So, the last time that the two teams met, Bromsgrove came away 4-0 victors. Since then, Rugby Town have put on a bit of form, they've risen to 7th and they'll be looking to get the 3 points from Bromsgrove today. I've never been to Butlin Park before, but I've heard they've got a good stadium, they've got seating or covers on all sides and I heard that they've got good food on as well, so I'm looking forward to this. So I'm travelling across to Rugby by train today instead of driving because it just takes about the same amount of time, it's less hassle. Um, I'm going to get some scenic shots along the way, so you'll have a little bit of a montage of my travel today. So I'll see you at the train station. So I've arrived in Rugby and you've guessed it, it is wet, it is cold, it's raining, it's not nice. But I'm going to go to the local pub which is just down the road from the ground itself, about a 20 minute walk. I'm going to get myself a pint. So I'm going to head to the Clifton Inn now, I think there's going to be a few fans there. See you there. The bar was really modern, it almost felt like a gastro pub in there. They had a lot of beer on the tap and they had big screens showing the football during the day and then the rugby on the evening. It's very spacious inside the room as well, it could fit probably about 200 people in there. I was very impressed by the Rugby Town programme. Unlike many non-league programmes that I've seen before, which are full of adverts, the Valley kept adverts to a minimum. The layout and content was very good, and I only marked it down a point due to the quality of the finish. If it had been a better quality paper and full colour on the inside, it would have received full marks. The food at Butlin Road was very reasonably priced. If you enjoy meat dishes, then this is the place for you, as they had plenty of options. Unfortunately, they don't have many options for vegetarians or vegans, and as someone who doesn't eat meat, I had to get the chips. The pitch itself was one of the best I've seen at this level of football other than Hormond. Although we were unlucky on the day as we had had lots of rain throughout the night and during the day, it was clear to see that the pitch would make a great playing surface, but as you can imagine it was very damp in some areas and soon became heavy underfoot.
So I'm back in my car now after a long train journey home from rugby. I'll probably drive to the majority of the next games, mainly due so I just, I just want to get home rather than hang around on trains. The final full-time score was 2-1 to Bromsgrove uh, through a Richard Gregory penalty and a Jason Cowley goal from the edge of the box, I think it was. And rugby went ahead early on in the first half through a penalty which was conceded by Craig Jones. There wasn't many complaints about the penalty, I don't think, from the Bromsgrove players, so I think it was a penalty in that case. And it was just a well-fought game by both sides, really. It could have went either way before the half-time whistle, but Bromsgrove came up fighting. They wanted it a bit more, I think. But don't take anything away from rugby. They fought hard and they played some decent football. It just didn't happen to them. At the end of the game, Reese pulled off an absolutely cracking save, which was destined for the top corner. But he's just got his hand to it, a firm hand as well, and saved it from a, an equalising goal probably within the last two minutes of the game. All in all, another good day at the office, back to winning ways in the league and another three points which puts us top of the league because Colesville lost to Worcester City 1-0. I think Worcester scored in the 81st or 86th minute and that's such a welcome victory for Bromsgrove because that puts us a point ahead of Colesville with a game in hand as well. So instead of doing what I did last week where I kind of did an overview of the facility and the hospitality package and the club and the food, drinks, blah blah blah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a voiceover and put that over the top of the video itself. So rather than just summing it all up at the end, you can see it throughout the video. Um, but I will say that I did really enjoy myself at Rugby today. They've got a cracking ground there, a cracking stadium. It covers an all three so Oh blimey, look there's a rat ground there. Well, yeah, so rugby, they've got, so the stadium itself is amazing. It should be a ground that is hosting a team two or three leagues above what they are at the moment, Rugby Town. But it's just for, for, for unfortunate circumstances that they've come down over the last 10 to 15 years and they find themselves in the Midland Prem. I would definitely recommend anyone visit there should you find yourself with a spare Saturday or a, a time when they've got a game on. It really is worth the experience. And that's it from me this week, so thank you again for watching and I've had so many positive comments and it is overwhelming how nice they've all been. Um, I'm glad that people are enjoying watching this and I hope to do more. I'm hoping to get them a bit better and I'm sure they will in time. But thank you for watching and again if you could give this a like and subscribe to it so you know when the next video comes out that'd be great. But for now, see you at the next game. Bye!